This video starts when we were leaving the Royals and Cardinals baseball game on the third base side of Bush Stadium. And I don't know if you turn right, then turn right, then turn right. Use the left lane to turn left onto Market Street, then turn left onto South 10th Street. Hang on there, girly. We're not out of this corkscrewy driveway yet. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do but it just ain't gonna happen we are in downtown st. Louis on the top of the parking garage for the Drury Inn I hope that the Sun don't wash this up too much As you can see Union Station there And the big clock tower for the Union Station. And the shed for all of the trains to park. And the U.S. Courts building there. That looks like a UFO on the top. That's kind of cool. I'm going to keep waiting for that thing to take off. <laughs> I like it. And here's more of the railroad. I think that was a power plant. And I'm only saying that because I see a, a stack sticking up. This is kind of pointed to the south, southern direction. The highway there is 40 and 64. There's more, and you can kind of see the metro line. I haven't seen any trains this morning. I don't guess they run them quite as often as they do at night. Didn't ride it, but we watched it. Kind of cool. And this is towards the east. Pretty darn cool. See a couple banks. Pear Tree Inn over there. I had a great breakfast this morning at the Drury Inn, and it was a. Uh, it's an old railroad, not railroad, uh, YMCA. It's been restored and converted into a hotel, which was good. It was really cool. You got some great pictures down in the bottom. But anyway, this is St. Louis. Kind of a neat town. Wouldn't want to live here. <laughs> The first place we're going to see on this video is the St. Louis Union Station. And we made kind of a trip around where you can see the back side of it where the trains used to park. And it's kind of now parking in a shopping center.
this building that we're circling now we were pretty convinced vampires lived there or at least it was a medieval castle come to find out it's the st louis city hall i i'm amazed it's it's a beautiful building but it looks medieval maybe they torture people there i'm sure they do when they pay their taxes The St. Louis City Hall building was completed in 1893. The architectural firm of Eckel and Mann were the designers of it. The location of City Hall was acquired about 1840 and for many years it was used as a park called Washington Square. By 1890 the municipal functions had outgrown the old city barn as the old City Hall at 11th and Chestnut Street is popularly known. The first story of the St. Louis City Hall is Missouri Pink Granite, and it contrasts with the pink-orange Roman brick on the upper floors and buff-colored sandstone trim located in the irregular pattern around the window openings. The roof is burgundy red clay tiles. The St. Louis City Hall is still used today. Uh, it looks like a pretty grand city hall. Worth a visit sometime. This building is Christ Church Episcopal. Uh, it looks very gothic very interesting i wish i had gotten a better camera angle on it but it's amazing it's uh, one of those amazing pieces of architecture in downtown st louis white building with the pillars is the st louis public library and uh, it's as amazing as it looks. That's a really beautiful building. The tan building that we're looking at is the St. Louis City Museum. If you look closely, you'll see the Ferris wheel running on the top of it. And as we circle around, notice the school bus hanging over the edge and the airplanes that are in the play area. We didn't stop at this very long. Uh, it will probably be another trip that we actually go in there. And uh, I've heard it's cool. It looks pretty cool from the outside. As you can tell, the city museum was built in the International Shoe Building, our International Shoe Company, and it is in the Washington Avenue Loft District of St. Louis. This is a playhouse museum, which means everything's hands-on, mostly repurposed architectural and industrial objects. We were sure glad to have you come along on our little visit to St. Louis. If you like this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe.